Hmm. Well, now I won't know how long I've been on. For the second, at least. That'll be annoying. Look at my awesome shirt. Isn't that awesome? Target's finest. Although you can tell it was super cheap because this dude's already almost gone. This is the password it should be white, but it isn't. Yeah, so, happy Friday. When I last left you, when I left you on Wednesday, I promised that I would find something mundane and make a huge long production out of it. Well, I didn't promise that, but I alluded to the fact that it might happen, and sure enough, here's to you. What I'd forgotten was that my engine light, the old malfunction indication, lit up Wednesday morning. And I was reminded of it as soon as I turned the key Wednesday night. And resigned myself to the fact that I would somehow get even less sleep than normal, wake up super early, and drop the car off at the dealer. If you don't have an appointment, you need to be there first thing in the morning to drop it off. So, sometime in the seven hour, I dropped the car off. And they called me yesterday around two ish with the old good news, bad news deal. Bad news. They needed to replace the catalytic converter, and the nearest one was in Wisconsin. So I wasn't going to get the car back because it had already been taken apart, and they were going to put it back together just so I could drive it with the emissions violations. And then, you know, maybe not bring it back. I would have. But that was the bad news. The bad news was that I had to figure out how I was going to get home. Which I thought was okay. Okay, I'll have a co take me. And then I remembered that I wouldn't be able to get in the house because I gave them the entire keychain instead of just taking the car key off. Never thinking that I wouldn't see the car again that day. So. So I called my father in law, who graciously drove me home. Uh, actually, after driving me to the dealer to get my keys. So. Thanks, Pop. I know he's not watching, but. If he ever does, I think he knows that it's greatly appreciated. And we got to spend a lot of time looking at all the houses for sale in my neighborhood and wondering if uh, he and my mother-in-law would move into one of them, which seems unlikely. But it would be awesome. But that's something to think about. The good news is because of the EPA and federal regulations, that particular part, the catalytic converter, is one that must be is mandated to have a warranty of eight years or 80,000 miles, whichever comes first. I've had the car just over six years, believe it or not. I can't believe it myself. It's only got 36,000 miles on it. Actually, I don't even think it has 36. I think it's less than that. Anyway, falls under the warranty. It's completely free. Thank goodness. It was an $1,100 job. I know. 1100 bucks to repair, replace, Remove and replace is what R and R stands for. R and R on a CatCon. Remove and replace the catalytic converter. Eleven hundred dollars. Wow. Because there's like precious metal inside it. Remember when those thieves were stealing catalytic converters for the for the platinum in them? Fortunately, that hasn't happened to me, but I guess I got one of them kind of kind of deals. Good news is it only cost my precious time. And I had to work from home today, which is okay, but I must prefer working here. It's a much better setup. I've got two giant monitors. If I take it home, it's just the laptop and just a little laptop screen. And unless I take my external mouse with me to that crazy touchpad that doesn't quite work right, or that that thing in the middle of the keyboard that you move and it moves your cursor. No good. The other thing is it really wrecks my whole routine. Knowing I would be here later, I did uh, some of the afternoon stuff early, and now i got to do some of the stuff I should have done this morning, but it'll all work out. This video was not a casualty, although I am doing it a little bit earlier. Usually the video is the last thing I do before I head out, and I think I may be here as late as 7 or 8, so I'm doing it right now, 527 p.m., 68 degrees. 
and I'll have it up, and I won't be worrying about it later, and you will have had a chance to watch it earlier. Whether you take advantage of that, nah, who knows, we got a whole weekend to watch the thing, right? So, that's where we are. I did promise to eat a taco. That was before I remember. Today is Friday, and I'm not going to have a taco on a fish Friday. Sorry. My plan was to go to Taco Bell on the way back from the dealer. That plan would have worked when I thought I was doing the car back yesterday, Thursday. I did not. So, that's where we are with the taco. I still haven't had it, and who knows when I'll have it. I don't think it's going anywhere, though. I don't think I gotta hurry. There will be an opportunity. It may happen Sunday. Finally, the Wolves are coming back home. We haven't seen a game in 15 days. It will have been by the time we show up on Sunday. But it's a 2:30 game. That's very early. I like to sleep on Sunday, or sit in a chair and watch NASCAR. NASCAR will have to go on the new DVR. And I will probably be half awake when I watch it because I'm sure there'll be an involuntary nap after going to the 2.30 game. But, the reason I mention all this is there may be a Taco Bell trip after the game. Maybe. Depends what we feel like. There may be a pot roast. Actually, no, there's a pork shoulder that I have to put in the crock pot. So we'll probably have that on Sunday. Oh, no Taco Bell then either. And it should be just about ready by that time. Ah, yeah, that's what we're doing. Mmm, pork. Delicious. So let's catch up on the comments and try to do a clean sweep of this week. Or at least see what I can get to in three or four minutes. One of the presents that I got Aaron at least for Christmas was a I Am T Pain microphone. Which apparently Aaron was always wanted to buy for himself, but his wife wouldn't let him. And now he's really annoying her with it. Which is really my intention. For some reason Aaron is still fascinated with auto tune. Now, I bought two of them. It was like a Kmart sale. It was like buy one, get one, 50% off, and they're on sale. So I got them super cheap. I shouldn't be revealing my secrets, but that's okay. Unfortunately, because I got an even number, and I gave one to Aaron, and I gave one to my brother-in-law, I don't have one for me. So I, I don't have a lot of experience with them. And when I tried my brother-in-law's uh, one, I couldn't get it to work right. And I don't know if it, I was singing correctly. But I didn't get a lot of chances with it either. So, when Lee says it's getting a lot of use, I hope that means that it's working as intended. And it wouldn't hurt to have some video evidence of that, by the way. Doug, ca Doug caught up with my videos after his vacation, treating them as white noise in the background as I deleted emails and ignored voicemails. I'm going to take that as a compliment, I guess. White noise. I am white. This is noise. I love this shirt. Don't you love this shirt? But I did drop in that bit about pork because that gets that excited. Doug is a cooking fiend. In case you didn't know, Respect the Bird is his deal. He's famous on allrecipes.com. Go over there and read his blog. Read about alligators. They taste good. He shared his opinion about Peyton going to the Broncos. And I don't think he's going to miss Tebow. I don't know. He didn't say that part. So that's an open ended question. Now that Tebow is on the Jets, you have another thing to share your opinion on. I don't, I don't think you have yet, so. What do you think about that? There's a question what I think about that. I think it's hilarious, but I don't really have an opinion. That's all AFC stuff. I don't care. You know, keep it to the AFC is really my opinion. That way I don't have to worry about it. An NFC question, though, from Stagger Lee. How do I feel about the NFL basically killing the Saints for this season and pop probably the next two or three seasons? Couldn't happen to a nicer fan base. I shouldn't be making these comments because something terrible will happen to my team as a result. But I can't help myself either. <sighs> Cerebus wants to know if there's anything I won't eat. I will not have jellyfish again. I did have it once. But 
it was hard going down, and there's nothing to that one. I will skip at the sushi boat place. It's just it's not a texture that you want to have. Have there been any fried items at the fair that you looked at and said, "Fuck that noise! I ain't eating that shit." No, but there are things I won't pay for either. So I would if they were given to me, but I gotta. I have a limited budget, so I gotta weigh my options carefully. Fried pickle's my favorite. Pickle dog second. Two pickle items. Comments about Baja Blast Mountain Dew, which I have never had a full one of in, I don't know, like crack? I don't think it's that good. I don't know, I'm not into sugar sodas as much. I will drink Dr. Pepper, and I like that uh, stuff that psychologically on the label says cane sugar, which somehow is better than high fructose corn syrup. Uh, this is one of those aspartame deals, phenylcalinerics. Mm. Pardon me. <coughs> Mm. Perils of drinking soda and not taking breaks. Speaking of which, Pyman asks, have you ever been interrupted during one of these videos and have to start over? Are you usually alone in the building? I have not uh, restarted except when it turned out I hadn't started in the first place, if that makes sense. I think it's recording, but it's not. So that's a do-over. But I have not had to interrupt one of these. What am I on? 57? Heinz 57? No. And no one is coming and interrupting me. If they had, I would invite them in and we would do our business in front of the camera. But there are usually less than a handful of people here this late. Everybody usually comes early and leaves early due to the way our shifts go. But I'm outside the shifts, so I sometimes stick around to help people in Oregon or to help people in Australia. Or sometimes I'm here really early to help people in India or in the UK, so I'm flexible. But I tend to flex later than everybody else in this building. Right now there are probably five people in the building right now. And they're all way over there, or they're on a different floor, so not a lot of interruption happening. Look how late I'm doing. That would make Greg happy. He wanted me to even out the, the average, and after only going a minute and a half yesterday, why is my nose itch? But we will try to wrap it up. I don't know if YouTube has a limit anymore or not. I think they do, but I think it's a file size limit as opposed to a time limit. I don't want to test it though. The worst thing to find out is I have just so much time that I would waste it. And that would make a couple of you very happy, I'm sure, but most of you would just get bored and too long didn't watch. Good luck with your card. Thank you. I had good luck. I had such good luck, I should get a Mega Millions ticket. And when I win Mega Millions tonight, currently $290 million, which means cash option would be about $140 million, you will never see me again. Alright, something about it being hot. It is. Shouldn't be 69 today. My lawn is green. I want to mow it. I'm not going to. Somebody made a smartest comment about the climate going through a change. The climate changes every day, okay? Climate change. And Greg's comment that this should be about a 25-minute video. It should not. In fact, it's coming up after 14 minutes, so I'm going to wrap it up. Which is convenient because I'm at the end of the comments on the W. I don't think I have any comments from Facebook. I don't think I have any comments from Google+, Plus. probably because I forgot to post yesterday. Kevin, thank you for the plus one. And I don't have any comments on YouTube. Thank you, anonymous YouTube viewers and subscribers, for the thumbs up. YouTube is notoriously bad about emailing me, but I have been noticing that I have subscribers for some reason. I'm getting more subscribers, so although my views aren't going up, people are coming in to replace the other people who are leaving. <laughs> Excuse me. That's it. We are done with another week. Thank you once again for devoting your time to watching me do this. You think I would get better at it, but no not happening. Maybe next week will be better. Who knows? Uh, for for the internet, I'm CRZ. Thank you. I love you. I will see you some other time, I'm sure.